Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we receive a new hotfix for both the 1.5.2 beta patch and the 1.5 live patch. Uh, the first four changes were added to both patches, and the three extra changes at the end were added only to the beta. So I'm going to link uh, both the hotfix announcements down below if you want to read it for yourselves or join the conversation on the forums. And uh, like always, I have a script. It's going to be on the screen right now. Everything that I say, all the links that are stated, they will all be down below for you uh, to translate, read again, whatever you would like to do. So without further ado, here are the changes. Uh, so like I said, the first four are for both patches. So first change, fix a crash that happened when the main hero tried to marry someone that was in the same AI-led army. So if you were part of an army and uh, the person you're trying to marry was also part of that army, um, it would kind of crash if you tried to marry them. And that is now fixed. So it's kind of a unique situation, but it does happen rarely. Uh, next we have is fixed a crash that occurred when giving an order to a formation that was created with the F7 transfer feature. So if you try to use the F7 transfer feature, sometimes a crash would occur, but that is now fixed. Uh, next we have is fix an issue related to the entry request when the player waited for some time in a castle settlement. So I'm guessing there was an issue. I don't know if they would just would not let you in regardless of how long you waited or if they did let you in. Um, whatever the issue was, it is solved now. And uh, the last one that, that is pretty much for both patches is they fix the issue for save games that have dead quest givers. So uh, now the quest givers should be alive and well and you can go uh, pretty much, you know, get the quest. Uh, now that is all for the 1.5.1 live patch. Uh, the rest of the uh, changes, which is three left, uh, they are for the 1.5.2 beta only. So uh, first it was fixed a bug that caused a new note that caused new notables to not spawn in some situations. So we did receive this one on the live patch, but now we're receiving kind of a newer version on the beta patch. I guess they're trying to test something else out. But uh, there was a problem with uh, new notable spawns not actually happening or them dying off and disappearing. And um, I guess a bug was fixed again because another one popped up. Um, now, next, we have uh, fixed a bug that made the wrong menu appear if the player selected an aggressive action in a conversation with an army member. So, very specific, but, um, yep, the wrong menu did pop up, probably not the aggressive action that they wanted, uh, or the aggressive um, response to the aggressive action, but that is now fixed. And uh, lastly, it was fixed a bug that caused the nameplate of the main party to not appear when starting a new campaign. So on Reddit, I seen that this was a problem not only for the start of the campaign, but during the campaign, um, certain build, I mean, certain places you would visit once you came out of it, you would not have a nameplate on your main party anymore. Hopefully, that is fixed with this uh, bug fix as well. But we shall see. And uh, that's pretty much all the changes and fixes uh, for these two um, hot fixes. And uh, like I said before in my Dev Talk video yesterday, I think that we. Um, I think that we're getting modding tools at the end of this month. That's what the devs have stated. I don't know if they're going to postpone it. Maybe we'll get a big patch on Thursday. But um, my prediction, personally, I think the big patch will probably be um, Monday or Tuesday of next week. Because if they do release it on Thursday, um, I'm pretty sure they're not going to have enough time to hot fix it before the weekend. So uh, that is just my prediction. But we will see. Maybe it will drop uh, tomorrow or um, today if you are watching the video. Because I'm probably going to drop this a little bit later. But yeah, uh, that's kind of my prediction. Don't hold me to it, but it is what it is. Uh, lastly, I'm going to end this video in the same way In the same way I ended most of my uh, Hotfix update videos. I want to thank the developers for staying active and bringing good changes. Also, I have a video on how to revert your game to any other patch released. Or to the current beta patch if you are having trouble with that. Uh, it's a quick couple minute video it will get you to where you're going and uh, yeah that will be linked down below uh, also I did start a patreon it's nothing crazy I'm using it for basic support no paywalling my content will always be free it's just if you want to support me further I'd really appreciate it just uh, you know it's gonna be down below as well and uh, lastly hopefully this video was informative and like always stay safe